My first name is Constance and I'm from Seattle, Washington. I have a T-Wall 3 and this will be the third season. I bought it two years ago. I started in probably my late 40s. Just took lessons on bigger boats, 25 foot cantilenas, 22 foot capris. My experience learning was to handle and learn the basics on a bigger boat. But what I wanted personally when I, I stepped forward to buy one was something that I could easily get. I didn't need to keep it in a marina. I didn't need to keep it on a buoy. It could be very easily launched personally by myself. My philosophy has always been, if it's easy to get to it, if it's easy to get in the water, you'll use it all the time. Whereas if you have to drive somewhere or trailer the boat, uh, you don't use it as much. So this was uh, the answer for me. I sail in basically what's called Puget Sound, which is salt water. It's surrounding the Seattle area. We have water that's come in from the Pacific Ocean and is basically a whole series of bays and inlets. It's open water, but it's not ocean sailing. It's usually myself. I do have friends that like to come along, but I find the boat is really fun to sail alone. So. And that's really why I bought it, was to have something that I could easily handle. And I live right on the beach, so it stays basically on our bulkhead. So I can put it in the water in two minutes and be off. You know, initially when I first got the boxes and took it apart and laid it out, it was a little, I won't say it was intimidating, but it was, it was like, okay, how does this go together? But after one time through, the thing is simple to take down and put back together again. So, you know, I don't have any speed records for it, but uh, to be able to do that and basically by yourself and be completely self-contained and go out pretty much in any environment is an awful lot of fun. It's great, it's great. That boat is so much fun. It builds confidence because it is a stable feeling when you're on it, but it still gives you a really fun sensation of sailing, which is what I was looking for. You know, the bigger boats, you basically sometimes just feel like you're sitting there, but this one, you feel like you're part of the boat and you feel like you're part of the water because you're right on it. So it's pretty much exactly what I was hoping to find. I think what really surprised me was how, despite its material and, and how it's designed, how well it sails uh, compared to a hard shell 12 foot dinghy that was built for basically speed and racing. My expectation coming to this was that, you know, maybe it would be, be not quite as uh, sensational, but Oh, it, it is a blast. And I've dumped it a couple times, but uh, for the most part, I'll go out in water that probably I wouldn't have gone out in, in the other boat. So, works great. Getting it to the point where I got to sit up on the rail, that was wind that, that I it came up pretty suddenly when I was out there and was like, okay, here we go. And that sensation was a blast. Well, the other reason I bought the, the boat was because it's so easily transportable. And we do a lot of trailer camping in the summer. So it, um, it comes with us. Uh, basically, almost every time we go where there's accessible water. So. Uh, I think that really the dream is more just keep sailing it as much as possible rather than a particular location. It's one of those feelings that um, I think I can do for a long time. And I'm not a, a young person, 
I think the dream is just stay on it, keep going. <laughs>